Hi guys! Look at this disaster. <laughs> it won't be like this forever, but I wanted to redo my planner that I just um, got from Michaels. If you guys watched, um, you know, my last video. Um, if not, I just got a, re a recollection planner. Um, but anyway, so I wanted to decorate it for Halloween. So I went through all my craft stuff and I found all of my Halloween stash. Obviously, I will not be using all of this, but I have a lot more than I thought I did. I mean, some of it's new, but most of it's old. Something that I've had for, you know, the previous year or, or for a couple of years. Um, so, um, I figured I'd just make a separate video of, um, you know, what I do have. So, I'll go ahead and kind of quickly go through everything. Okay, so we'll start right up top here. So I have three different list pads. This one says Trick or Treat. I got this from Target last year. And then these two I got from Target this year. And this one has the um, Sugar Skulls on them or the Day of the Dead Skulls. Um, and then this one has, you know, it's like your basic, but then you have like the little trim background. It has ghosts, pumpkins, treat bags, sugar skulls. So I don't know which one of these. I probably won't use this one. I'll probably use one of these. I'm not really sure yet. I thought this one would go better because my planner is blue. Um, but they're both really cute. This one's pretty neutral, so I'm not sure yet. Um, then I have this um, napkin that was gifted to me in a swap a while back. I also have this from a swap and it's just a piece of paper um, that's kind of like your vintage ad type that you would see like in magazines or something and it's really cute and it's like subtle Halloween. So I have that I could work with and then um, I found these at the Dollar Tree this year. This one is beautiful. It's just a glitter, glittery gold card and I figured it would go with the gold on the inside of the planner. It says Hocus Pocus on it. Brew up some excitement this Halloween. Best witches. Which I think is adorable but I really only want to use the cover. I almost got more than one because that's how much I liked them, but honestly, I don't know what else I would use it for. I just want to use it for my planner, and I don't need to spend an unnecessary dollar if I don't have to, you know what I mean? So I got this one, which I'm really excited about. I also thought I might use this one. This is a really cute, like, basic Halloween card with bats in the moon, and it says, winging your way with warm wishes for a happy Halloween. It's pretty cute. So I thought I'd pick that up as maybe possibly another divider or something. And then I have quite a few stickers. So I'll just, you know, I have these little pumpkins. I have, let me see. These two are from the Dollar Tree. This one, they're both like, um, I guess like a little poofy. Like they, they stick up just a little bit. Um, these are, these were my favorite. That's why I got these. So these were from the uh, Target Dollar Spot. So we have these skeletons that are um, like iridescent. If you can see that, hopefully without getting too much of the light. Um, and then these have like these silver, silver out outside. I'm trying to. There we go. They're really cute. They're also puffy. These ones, these ones are flat. Um, these ones are mostly flat, but they have a couple like little 3D pop-ups where they have like um, like a foam sticker thing where it raises it up. But I thought these were really cute. These were also from the Target dollar spot, so you get 200 stickers, and these were also a dollar, which isn't bad at all. And these are obviously all flat. Um, again, I love the whole like sugar skulls thing. So here's what we have to work with. And I love the little ghosts. They're so cute. Then I have these. I think I had those last year from, I believe, the Dollar Tree. I have some rub-ons. I don't 
really like the rub transfers. I feel like they never really work, but I may be able to use them for something else. So this is like an older style. Then I have this one from the Dollar Tree from, or not the Dollar Tree, from the Target Dollar spot from last year, and it's like gold foil type thing. Oh, here we go. And I just, I didn't have a lot of luck with them, so I could cut them out or something. These are like an old style Halloween. Everything's sticking to the transfers. <laughs> oh no, losing some stickers. Again, we have some more sugar type skull guys. Um, let's see. Come on. Okay. I definitely like those guys. Okay, so these are the older style, the little kitty cat witches and pumpkins and stuff. So those are the transfers. Then here's those skulls. Those are really cute. I think these are, yeah, these are from the dollar spot from last year. And I have a random sticker sticking to it. Like I said, I just pull these out of my stash. So I'm not, my stash isn't like super organized right now. It's kind of a mishmash of everything. So I had to like literally dig through everything to find all my Halloween stuff. So anyway, um, yeah. So I have a few of those stickers left, and a few of these left. I like all the sayings on this one. I think those will be fun for journaling or planning. And then I have these are cute. These are like the bull pumpkins. These are from last year's Target dollar spot. And then these are the same type from, from Target as well. And they're like little Frankensteins. And then I got these from Goodwill last year. And they're just like literally glittery foam stickers. Um, and then I have these from the Dollar Tree. Pretty much everything here is from like the Dollar Tree or Target. Or it's something that I've had for a long time or I was gifted from someone. So... Um, so I have these like little ghosty and skeleton guys with like the little poison thing. And these are actually, I think they're supposed to be like window clings, but they work great as stickers. I have some of these I thought I could use. I have some uh, googly eyes and these are the colored ones. Um, all of the washi, I figured, you know, not all these are, are Halloween type, but, you know, these polka dot ones I could use. Um, this is a Halloween one. It's, um, like a spider web. And then I have these two glittery ones, gold and black. And then I have these skull heads and this keep out caution type tape. Then I have these two glittery in green and purple. Sorry. Um, I just got this one from the from Target, and they're like little ghosts. I don't know if you can if you can see those, but they're little ghosts. They're really cute. Um, this I actually got from Tuesday morning. They're just adhesive labels that say "Danger Toxic Toxic Treats," and I thought these were really cute. And I'm sure I would use these. It comes with six, so um, I don't. Oh, I got these from Goodwill last year, and they're just like these little skull head charms. I might be using those. Um, <clears throat> these were gifted to me in a swap last year, so we just have some like, I don't, yeah, these are more like die cuts, but most of them are glittery. I love the skull, and there's a ghost one in here, and these are really cute. Let's see. Yeah, there's the ghost one. Um, more skulls, a little trick or treat tag, and then in here's like a little puzzle. I thought those are cute. So I could use those this year. I have all this like ribbon, so um, I definitely want to use this one. This one's really cute. I love the skeletons, and the ghosts are my favorite, I swear. So I have like a polka dot one I could use. Um, there's this purple polka dotted one that I think came from the Dollar Tree last year. Um, there's these pumpkin ones. I probably won't use them, but again, I just wanted to get all my stuff together. 
This one says Happy Halloween and Boo. And here's like a black glittery ribbon. Here's a little scrap of some um, spider web. And then there's like little pumpkins. And I also have um, just this is more like a harvesty color to me, but I think I'd throw it in here. Here's like a gold one I can use. Um, orange. Okay. So then I have these that I think I'm going to be using from possibly shaker pockets. I have stars, a couple of different colors of green, some like orange and gold. So I have those. I found some um, stamps. I don't have too many Halloween stamps, but I have this owl with the moon behind it. I have a bat, a pumpkin, and one that says trick or treat. And then I have these, I busted these letters out just in case I needed them. And then I grabbed one of these out in case, you know, I wanted to use them, they'd, it'd be accessible. So, and then I have a bunch of papers. So I'm, I went through my scraps and what I actually had, and this is everything. So I had this leftover piece, which is really cute actually. I'm not super, like I'm not a huge fan of pumpkins, but I really love these guys, they're so cute. I just have like some, some that aren't really Halloween themed, but some that I think I could use for Halloween. Like here's some iridescent one. There's like a charcoal -y black one. Um, stars and orange and then I have you know a scrap piece of this and you know this one whoops just says all kinds of things costumes ghosts apple caramel fright Halloween scary jack-o-lantern all kinds of stuff and then that, that was cute here's those um, pumpkins again I really love like the gray with the pop of orange it's really I think it's really cute and then there's this one. It's pretty cute. And this one just kind of says October all over it. I might use that on the calendar. And I have this purple one. And I love that it has like this fade, like almost like a vignette, I think it's called. I think it's really pretty. This one just has like little scribbles of words I thought I could possibly use this as a background for something. Here we have a bunch of evil eyes. Oh, that is cute. Some more spider webs. And then we have some swirls that could be used as backgrounds. I don't know if you can see that one. That's like black and gray with gray swirls. But here is the white version or the like gray version. You can kind of see it better. So, and then I have like little bits of, um, scraps so you know like this one's you know I don't have any big ones of those I could possibly use there's some more pieces to that pumpkin thing um just some you know word type things so I have those and then I have these um these actually they're like cards that had somebody had made and I think they're really cute I may use like pieces of them I don't think I would just use the whole thing in my journal. So I have a few of the orange and then the black are pretty cool. They have like just the, the spider web and it's actually textured. Like it's, um, what's it called when you like use the dyes and you push them on. That's, that's what that is. So you can see on the other side it goes through. So I have a few of those and then I have, let's see, a, a paint sample. It's just orange. And then more of those dye things just as happy Halloween in a couple different colors I have more scraps that I had cut down for like ATC type things so I have polka dots glitter and some more of those stars and then these came out of a smash book and I just picked like the smash book like little notebook pads or whatever they have all different um kinds but i just picked out the ones that were more halloweeny so then there's you know that guy with his mouth wide open and then they had a few of these let me see if I can find the other ones they have a few of these like crystal ball ones i don't know if i'll use them it's like you kind of fill in the words and each one's different um crystal ball predictions 
This one I thought was cute, uh, taking the path less traveled. Not necessarily Halloween-y, but it has Halloween colors and it kind of has a Halloween feel in my opinion. Um, Travel Nightmare, a true story about vacation gone wrong. And it's got a little crying kid on it. I think it's really cute. Um, Palmistry, where it just kind of gives like little facts like your heart line, your headline, your lifeline. And then there's like a little hangman card which, you know, can be Halloween-y. So I think that's everything as far as the Halloween stuff I have. I don't think I'm looking around and I don't think I missed anything. So, um, yeah, I don't think, I don't think I'm going to be doing a process video of the planner, but I definitely will do like a setup with me um just because like I'm not really sure what I'm going to be doing with it yet I definitely want to make some things with this stuff and it's just a lot so but I will let you guys see the final outcome I'll probably have you guys see what my planner looks like now and then what it will look like um you know like I'll put everything together on camera but I won't actually make like each individual thing on camera if that makes sense so, um, yeah, that was everything. So I hope you guys enjoyed my, um, Halloween stash and, uh, let me know if you guys are planning on decorating for Halloween or even decorating your planner for Halloween. Like I plan to, we haven't decorated for Halloween yet, but we plan to this weekend. So that'll be exciting. Um, and yeah, I hope you guys have a great day or evening wherever you are. Take care. Bye.